With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to a little informational video on Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock both the silver key and the gold key and what both of those items will do for you. Now, the silver key is here at the end of the starter route hosted by Steve at the riverside and you can get this very early on in the game. All you need to do is beat level 8, 11 and 15 teams and then you can get that around about chapter 3 if I recall and that unlocks a lot of nice little rewards such as the first of which is found in a silver chest here in Ryman Dojo. Unfortunately when I was doing the original recording for this video, I opened all the chests, saved the game and realised that I wasn't recording. So the chests are no longer here in the footage that you see. But right here there would be the special tactic Twin Wings, which you can get at the very start of the game. And it's genuinely quite helpful because it's not the best in terms of getting the ball up the field, but it's also fairly low cost. So if you're running out of TTP, then you can go for a Twin Wings instead. Recommended. Next you want to take a trip to Ryman School 11 years ago in the past and within the club room this is the spot where you would find a move manual for God Hand. You can't think of anything more fitting than that. Now this one is a little hard to miss. It would be just in this section over here in the White Deer hideout. So as long as you got the silver key during your main playthrough, then hopefully you may have grabbed this one already. But it is an unsettled compass that you get as the reward, which is a pal packing item for some characters. Now the other one that I would say is kind of hidden in plain view would be right about here in Shinon Castle, but I'm glad it wasn't hidden because this chest is extremely important. It contains the Showdown Ticket 1, which unlocks a post-game competition route uh, path, which you'd find in the Bakumatsu era, but the main importance of that is that the reward for beating uh, Showdown Route 1 is the Gold Key, so we will be covering that in the second half of this video. But you cannot get the gold key without first going here with the silver key. Also here in France, if we go to the Orléans Bridge and head to this corner of the map, there is a silver chest containing the faded map, which is a pal pack item used to recruit King Arthur and other members of the Camelot era. Now in the Bakumatsu era, if you are in the north of the city riverbank, Behind this tree you would find a silver chest which again contains a pal packing item, this time the indecisive radar. Now you might want to check where I am on the bottom screen but we're on the far left of the museum on an optional path in the future, Centrado. If you exit that way you end up on the other side of this barricade and there would be not one but three chests here. There's two regular blue ones containing a healing item and a regular bracelet, but in the middle of them is the exclusive item in the silver chest, the Cosmos Bracelet. The final item that you get from the silver chest is here in Camelot, but I'm actually going to throw in a little bonus here and show what happens if you can get things like the Faded Map. I've got the King's Armlet, the Moonlight Lantern and the Faded Map thanks to the Silver Key, so I can actually recruit King Arthur thanks to that silver chest. Now this is actually something I really don't recommend because if you recruit members of the Ultimate Eleven, the Aura Source, so like Ryoma Sakamoto and Nobunaga Oda, all of them, you actually lose the ability to Miximax with them if you have them as playable characters. But fortunately I'm playing on my backup save file of Wildfire, which I was supposed to be using to, you know, get all the silver chests without opening them, but, well, that didn't turn out great. But nevertheless, the silver chest in this room would be around about here, and it contains a crystal pendulum, the final pal packing item. That's it for the silver chests, so let's take a look at the gold ones. 
Next, I'm going to show you where to get all of the golden chests. And this is a lot harder to unlock because you have to get it in the post game and you have to S rank a reasonably difficult competition route, including the final boss, Ragnar, alongside other really powerful teams along the way. But the small golden key will be your reward, which of course unlocks even more stuff along the way. The first item we're going to collect is in the West Building on the ground floor of Ryman School, which contains the lost ticket to unlock more matches in competition routes. Craftily hidden behind this tree on the pitch main area is Catch Boost Ultra, a fantastic move manual for goalkeepers. And at Old Ryman School 11 years ago, go to the library and you can get more competition room matches with the ultimate ticket. It's more competition routes, ahoy, as we go to the first floor of the hospital in Vladimir Blade's room and we can get the hidden ticket won. If you go into the attic of Ricardo de Rigo's house, the golden chest is here, containing ephemeral boost which of course is Ricardo's shooting move when Miximax with Nobunaga. Take a trip to the rolling market of Okinawa and this one is really craftily hidden but behind this market stall you get the showdown ticket too. A bit cheeky to hide an entire competition route path behind a stall but um, that's what they decided to do. The Guardian's Rest in Sanctum has a gold chest and it's got the move manual for Slack Off, which is a fairly rated move manual from what I understand. And the Waterfall Bridge has a gold chest of its own, which was hidden in plain sight throughout the entire playthrough of the game. And it kind of teases you really early on, but it does have the Revolution Ticket too. The Tonghana Hospital has a particularly good reward because it contains track cycling, a special tactic which you cannot obtain otherwise. And then you take a trip to the Lookout Hill where Ricardo and Katsu had their little moment to get another special tactic, Absolute Barrier. So you can use track cycling to move up the pitch and Absolute Barrier to stop players and this one is even more important because otherwise you're just going to have tortoise shell pattern and it helps to have more than one option. And behind this building in Vukuleur, again an extremely hidden chest but it's for the move manual study which is so important when it comes to gaining experience. Skip travel to the Terracotta Hall in ancient China to avoid climbing up the entire building again and you can get the Truth Ticket 1. It's more competition routes. Head up to the east side of the river in Bakumatsu, Japan and within this chest it's Hidden Ticket 2. Competition routes. Now look at the bottom screen for this one, but down in this big winding pit in the Great Plain, you can get the Spirit Manual for Argus. Let's take a closer look at that actually, because it always helps to know. So this is a goalkeeping one. If, for example, you don't want to use JP and would rather use someone like Sam, then Argus is a very good option for you. And another one that was hidden in plain sight, right at the top of this cliff on the same screen, you can get the Revolution Ticket 1 for some competition battling routes. And in the Hall of the Round Table, where we had previously gotten a silver chest, you get the move manual for Prestigious. And I want to take a look at this one again, because it is a skill, and the purpose is to receive more prestige points after a battle. So basically, you will get more money. Slack Off, meanwhile, was to share experience points among the team, and Study was to boost experience points. So all of them extremely useful. And now here in the Grievous Grotto, you want to make it kind of over halfway in, very near to the pitch, in fact, but the Brawl Ticket 2 is hiding for your exploration efforts. 
Next we'll go to Ragnarok Stadium and within El Dorado's briefing room, the old school ticket is hiding. And this is of course a particularly good competition route ticket because it allows you to take on more fun teams in the past, back in Ryman School 11 years ago. And those are always fun of nice Easter eggs. Two chests are hiding in the post-game area, but at the top of the Lost World Stadium, you can get the Truth Ticket too, along with some dramatic music. And now the placement of the other golden chest in the Stitched Meadow of all places is devilishly hidden. If you look at me running around this area, you just wouldn't think this is possible. You cannot walk on this bit of the green grass. Until, yeah, this, wrong, this one random bit you can cross. And under this waterfall is Zodiac, which is Xanarch's fighting spirit. And that is a huge reward for perhaps the most hidden golden chest in the game. Even the only visual cue is that you would kind of go along here and see it if you twist the camera. But I do recommend you skip travel to the Chaos Causeway and head south from there. Now for the next gold chest, there's a little more to do. You need to be in Inazuma Tower, but specifically in the past from 11 years ago. You cannot get through this door if you're in the present day, and you also can't get through it if you haven't connected to the Wi-Fi. But simply go into the Connect settings, hit the big download button in the Connect menu, and you will get the small attic key as an item in Ryman's shop. Buy this for a thousand prestige points and you can head inside this building where there are some regular chests first off including fine veggies and the move manual for Inazuma break and finally the power boots. There's also a gold chest containing a spirit manual for Arch Pegasus Red. This is exactly the same as the normal Arch Pegasus but the only difference is that it is red, that's literally it, and even the type, moves, stats, everything is the same, but it's a fun little easter egg, and there's also a level 99 competition route in here, just because. And the other one linked to passwords is something I've already shown in a previous video, but if you go to the Ryman shop and buy the mysterious key after putting in a certain Wi-Fi password which will be in the video description and on screen right now, you can get that mysterious key and head into this exclusive area in the back of the old club room with three gold chests. The global boots, the global gloves and the global kit and all of these items allow you to apply a kit which is based on the kit the, the Earth 11 wear in Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy. So they put this in the game before even Go Galaxy had released. Just goes to show how much was already being planned. But yep, that's in there including the gloves and the boots too. And so that's where to get all of the silver and gold chests in Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones. That unlocks a lot of competition routes, so have fun with those. Any questions, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to try and help you out. And see you in another video.